Okay, my beloved student, we shall continue with the next one, understanding the call option. Okay, in order to understand the call option, let's do one example. Or before we do the example, let's recall again what is call option. Call option is an option that gives right to the buyer or holder of the option to buy. All right, the keyword is to buy. Call option. Call option gives the right to the buyer. All right, the right to buy the pre-specified pre currency at the exercise price. Example. Hi there. This is Lucy. Lucy wants to buy the GBP in three months time. All right. She has the intention to buy the GBP in three months time. The current spot price of USD GBP is USD 1.5015 per GBP. Again, USD 1.5015 per GBP. She is afraid that by the time she needs to buy the GBP, I mean after three months, the USD depreciates. Right? If the USD depreciates, what happens? She will need to pay more USD. But USD murah after three months. She will need to pay more USD in order to get or to buy the GBP. So today, what she should do is to buy a call option. Okay? When she buy a call option or enter into a call option, first, she need to pay the premium. The premium to buy the option, ingat eh, bukan beli lagi. GBP, dia kena beli dulu option, okay? The price of the option is USD 0.005 per option, okay? And the exercise price is 1.5050 per GBP, okay? So, how to solve the question? Let's do a few scenarios. First scenario, okay? Let's say after 3 months, the USD has really depreciated from 1.5015 per GBP to USD 1.6025 per GBP. Nampak tak? The USD has depreciated. Dia dah jadi murah. Previously, okay, to buy, uh, previously 1 GBP equals to 1.5015. Kalau you nak beli GBP, 1 GBP, you cuma perlu bayar 1.5. 5015 but after 3 months when you want to buy the GBP you have to pay USD 1.6025 so let's recall the information given in the story in the example given to us today's spot rate USD 1.5015 okay the exercise price or also known as X okay spot uh, rate saya guna SR eh? Sometimes, ada buku guna SP, spot price, pun boleh. Okay, the exercise price, harga yang you boleh guna untuk beli USD is 1.5050 per GBP. Harga option yang you beli tu equals to USD 0.005. Okay, after 3 months, what happened? This spot rate has changed or has depreciated jadi USD 1.6025 per GBP. Okay. Let's say uh, Lucy doesn't have the option. She did not buy the option. So, kalau dia tak ada option, if she needs to buy the GPP, she will buy, she needs to buy at current spot rate. So, current spot rate sekarang berapa? USD 1.6025 per GPP. So, C, she needs to pay more. 1 GPP cost her how much? USD 1.6025. But... For the last three months, okay, the last three months, Lucy bought a call option. So, what happened? By having the call option, after three months, she can buy the GBP at the exercise price. How much is the exercise price? USD 1.5050 per GBP. So, by using the option, kalau beli currency GBP tu, by using option dia, alright, it will only cost her how much? USD 1.5050 per GBP to get 1 GBP. Okay, so that's the, ben the benefit lah. Okay, but, oh, there's no but, sorry. So therefore, it is, why for her, it is wise for her to exercise the option because she can buy the GBP at lower price. If not, she needs to pay more. 
more here means she has to pay at the current spot rate which is how much 1.6025 conclusion when the current spot price or spot rate sr is higher than exercise price x the trader will exercise the option this situation okay i mean the situation spot rate or uh, spot price higher than exercise price it is known as in the money itm okay All right how much Profit Lucy can make. Okay, this is how to calculate the profit. Okay, spot rate berapa? Spot rate 1.6025. Ini harga pasaran. Okay, harga dia beli. Exercise price. Okay, this is your buying price. Exercise price is USD 1.5050. Okay, and then you have to minus the premium because premium is cost for the Lucy. Okay, dia keluarkan 0.05 USD ni to buy the option so it is a cost for her. So we we also have to minus 0.005. So by buying the currency by using the option dia sebenarnya boleh uh, buat untung banyak mana? 0.0925 USD. Okay, so please remember the formula to calculate the profit or loss for call option equals to spot rate minus x minus the premium so the profit she can make right is usd 0.0925 okay so if it is in the money we should exercise the option the second scenario but let's say but let's say after three months just now the usd depreciated but in this case let's say after three months the usd has appreciated instead from USD 1.5015 per GBP to USD 1.4950. Again, 1.4950 per GBP. So, saya highlight balik what are given to us previously. The spot rate, okay, the exercise price, the premium. And after the three months, the spot price all right, has appreciated to USD 1.4950 per GBP. Now, Based on the spot rate, she can buy GPP at only USD 1.4950 per GPP. Satu GPP will cost her only USD 1.4950. If Lucy decides to use her call option to buy GPP, she needs to buy at exercise price. Bila dah kata nak guna call option, nak exercise the option, kenalah beli pada exercise price. Now the exercise price as we know berapa USD 1.5050. So by using the option, 1 GBP will cost her how much? USD 1.5050 which is more than the spot price. So in this case, it is wise for her not to exercise the option sebab spot rate lagi rendah. So better buy the GBP by using the current spot, spot rate. What if she insists to exercise, nak beli juga GPP dengan guna option dia? She will lose for sure. Alright, again, let's calculate the profit or loss. How to calculate the profit or loss? By use uh, uh, under call option, we will take spot rate minus X minus premium. So since the spot rate now is 1.4950, we minus with the X as you can see here, we can see clearly you will get negative value. And then you have to minus as well the premium because it is the cost of buying the option for you. So you end up losing how much? USD 0.015. So C, she should not, she should not exercise the option. Let the option expires. Alright? Let the option burn. Macam tu saja. But Alright, of course, she will lose the premium. But, it is better to lose the premium, 0 0.05, rather than losing 0 0.015. Because this one is smaller, 0 0.005. Tapi kalau you exercise juga, you will lose 0 0.015. Ah, jangan confuse eh, this one is smaller eh. This is, ada dua kosong kat sini. This is only one zero there. Alright, okay, you will definitely lose the premium when you did not, when you do not exercise the option. But, you will limit the loss up to the premium only. Okay, alright. So, conclusion, when the current spot price or spot rate is lower than the exercise price, the trader should not or will not exercise the option. It is known as out of the money OTM. So, OTM happen when spot rate is lower than X. 
Okay, so when you got OTM condition, do not exercise. And finally, the third option. What if after 3 months, spot rate equals to exercise price? Example, after 3 months, the spot rate is now USD 1.5050, which is equals to exercise price. So when spot rate equals to X, it is known as at the money, ATM. So Lucy also should not exercise if the option is ATM, at the money. Nak tengok dia punya calculation? Okay, SR... 1.5050 minus the X, also 1.5050 minus the premium. So, you will end up getting loss, okay, by how much? 0 0.005, okay, I forgot the negative sign here. You should have the negative sign, okay. By, ex by exercising or not, she will still lose 0 0.005. So, tak payahlah kita buang masa to exercise the option. Let the premium bend, let it go. Okay? So, please, anak-anak, I forgot to put the negative value there. I'm so sorry. See you in video number 3.